Streets of San Francisco, a Quinn Martin production. Starring Carl Malden. Also starring Michael Douglas. With guest stars, Paul Sorvino, Don Gordon, Ron Sobel, Alfred Ryder. Tonight's episode, Superstar. Two. You know a joint, the Mecca on Fulton? Hey, you're from the Bronx, eh? I'm from Manhattan, you're from the Bronx. <laughs> How'd you guess? Would you just drive? Hey, you ever been here before? Never once. You get to know it, you'll never want to go back to New York again. Then don't show me, I got a round trip ticket. You need a little faith healing, man. It's a good town. You dig Frisco, love it up. Peace. Fill the ladies' glass. You got an Eastern beer? You bet. Where's Joe? Joe who? Joe Latham. I don't see him around. I heard he hangs around here. I don't know him. Got gotcha. you. Where is he? In the john? Just drink your drink. I'll deliver the message. Hi, Joey. Hi, hey, Joey. Long time. Leave me alone, Bert. I'm taking you back with me. No, you're not. Yeah, I'm taking you back. Now leave me Don't alone. You know I'm telling you, leave Don't me alone, back. you huh? <laughs> Belly up, boys. It's on the expense account. Drop it. I'm a cop. Let me show you, okay? Yeah. Well, was was anyone killed? Well, then why call me? This is homicide. Well, if I'm supposed to know him, what's his name? No, I don't know anyone by the name of D'Angelo, Bert D'Angelo. Of course I'm positive. Hey, 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 hey. Just a moment. What are you mumbling about? That's the New York vice officer the chief told us to cooperate with. Does the man claim to be a New York policeman? Well, why didn't you say so? Yeah, official business. I'll be right down. Is he here? He's here. This man I gotta see. He's got the highest arrest and conviction record in all of New York City. He's got a list of uh, citations for bravery a mile long, a superstar. Right now, he's a pain in the neck. They're holding him in the tank. <laughs> They're holding him in the tank? In the tank. So this girl I'm going with takes one look at my wife, 
And she says, Bert, how could you marry a woman like that? She's not your type. <laughs> so my wife gives her this great big smile and says, I've been trying to tell him that for 15 years. <laughs> you think I'm going to believe that? Well, check with my wife. I'll pay for the call. <laughs> Uh, hiya, boy chicks. Lieutenant Stone. Hi, Stone. I'm Bert D'Angelo. Inspector Steve Kelly. Bert, how they going, Steve? They're going real good. <laughs> well, I guess I'm a pain in the neck. Much lower, Sergeant, much lower. A uh, sense of humor. You must love this guy. Look, I didn't want to bug you. All I wanted to do was hustle Joey out of here, and then when I'm back in New York, I send you a necktie and let you know I was here. No way. Gloves? You like gloves? <laughs> Sergeant, you're not a cop in this city. You're a guest, just like any other tourist. And you're not going to take anybody out of here unless he wants to go or unless he's extradited or over my dead body. Now, do you understand that? What about my gun, Steve? Our property till you leave the city, Bert. What time is the flight? Is he always like this? Look, be a mensch. I said I'm sorry. What else do you want? All right. I would appreciate it if you gentlemen would help me find a man by the name of Joseph Latham. He may have information regarding the killer of my partner, Mickey Udall. His height, weight, distinguishing marks are on the reverse side of the photo. Now, by profession, he's a short order cook, and sometimes he makes book. Well, he shouldn't be too hard to find. I'm sure your way will be the best way, Lieutenant. Don't snow me, Sergeant, OK? Look, all I'm saying is you know your city. What do I know? And when we find him, we're going to be right there with him when you talk to him. What for? I'm not going to bounce him around. Oh, I know you wouldn't do that. We just want to be there so we can learn. Oh, don't snow me, Lieutenant, and I won't snow you. And I do it better. This here's uh, Fisherman's Wharf. What do you think of it? Compared to what? Look, I'm not here for the grand tour. When do we talk to your stoolie? Bert, it's not a stoolie, it's an informant. A rose by any other name. What do you guys do for fun in Frisco? San Francisco. Whatever. What do you do after you get out of those stuffy uniforms and into your civvies? This isn't a uniform. You dress like that all the time? <laughs> Listen, thank you very much. Right. Yeah, Joey's working part-time as a fry cook at a little restaurant down in Mission. He's making book on the side. Pretty good. Hit the jackpot with the first coin. How'd you do it? See, Harry likes to play the horses. Well, he doesn't pick them too well. His credit's not too good. There's a new bookie in town he knows about. It. You know you got the makings of a good cop? He's not there. There he is. You should have told me I had massage parlors. Some things a man's got to learn for himself, Bert. So, any luck? Yes and no. Joey used to work in there, but the manager says he doesn't know where he lives. Maybe I do. Make a left, go two blocks, make another left. That's where Joey is? Well, that's where Valerie is. We sort of met this morning. I know Joey from way back. He's a massage freak. Likes to get rubbed by tall blonde ladies with boots. Boots? Maybe he's a Rudyard Kipling freak, too. <laughs> take a left, take a left. Hey, Steve, I like your style. Wait here, I'll be right back. You wait here, he'll be, uh, he'll be right back. I mean, you know this is your town, Mike. You don't have to take this, remember? Hi, I'm Valerie. I'm tense, Valerie. 
I know you. Sure I do. You're from the Mecca. Listen, uh, you're not gonna cause any trouble around here, are you? Valerie, I'm not that kind of fella. Do you know this guy? His name is Grant, our 18th president. Do you like him? A lot. How about this guy? Likes oil. Maybe because he's a fry cook. Out calls. I take a long talcum and oil. Where are the out calls? I'll just get my appointment book. You wait right here. You too. <laughs> The Aldrich Hotel on Jones. Hold it. Wait a minute now. Who is at the Aldrich Hotel? Joey. That's his address, everything. Look, Michael, it's no reflection on your abilities, but I know Joey like a brother. I could find him in Carlsbad Caverns with the lights out. And later, I'm gonna buy you guys the best meal in town. Steak, lobster, wine, the works. Courtesy of the NYPD. It'll be our way of clasping hands with our working comrades of the Frisco Police Department. San Francisco, Bert. Whatever. I don't want to talk to you, Bert. I don't want to talk anymore. He gave us a tip about a big syndicate payoff. Mickey and I went in on it, and he got hit. You set us up, Joey. Look, I heard a rumble on the street, see? I pick up a telephone, I call you, that's all I know. How'd you hear about it? Who told you? I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know nothing. It's, it was like thunder. That's what it was like. It's, it's like thunder. I mean, you hear it, you, you don't know where it's coming from. Joey. Look, maybe they know I'm your stoolie, see? And they set me up to set you up. Don't lie to me. When did I ever lie to you? A couple of times I could think of. Only when I needed bread. You come back with me to New York, and then you're going to remember. We get back on the streets. Wait. Do I got to go back with him? Huh? There's no legal reason, no. OK. I don't want to talk to you no more, you bum. What do you think you're talking to, you little bum? Right, 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 you know, I'll work your way back to the tank again. Stupid. I found you. You think nobody else is going to find you? You got to think for dying? I ain't got a thing for nothing, Bert. I bought you, dummy. I paid three bills to a juice head who knew where I could find you. He sold you to me. You think he won't sell you to somebody else? Somebody who wants you dead forever? Use your brains, Joey, from a juicer. You know anything, they'll kill you. I ain't got nothing to worry about, Bert. You know why? Because I don't know who iced Mickey. But you ran, dummy. From you. From you, Bert. Joey. From you! I swear. I swear on my kid's life. Joey. If I ever find out you're lying to me, the cats are gonna lick your face. You heard him. You witnesses. You heard him threaten me. Listen to me, Bert. I ain't your stoolie no more. Don't you understand? I ain't your stoolie no more. I ain't nobody's stoolie. Now you get out of here. Get out of here! Club on Fulton Street. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. 